Well, good night, and this is uh, I am Dolphy Gilpin uh, coming to you from Decatur, Georgia, 1524 Vista Drive, with a brief uh, statement on hematologic disorder or blood disorder. Uh, we have here in the set of backbone or, or OMAX microscope, which has been helping us in our little research. And previously, we looked at uh, sickle cell anemia, which was a, a disorder, a blood disorder, caused by uh, a reduction in the red blood cells. Red blood cells were destroyed via a mild hemoglobin sickle, which causes the red blood cells to uh, uh, form in a mild formation shape or sickle cell sh a sickle shape or crescent shape and this destroy uh, and cause a decrease in the number of red blood cells which uh, led to this uh, malignancy sickle cell uh, anemia malignancy tonight we're looking at uh, uh, erectocytosis and in particular primary and secondary electrocytosis Erectrocytosis. Now, erectrocytosis is a increase in the number of a, a, an increase in the production of the red blood cells or erectrocytes. Now, in primary uh, erectrocytosis, uh, the bone marrow causes an increase in the number of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And this causes a primary polycythemia vera. Now in polycythemia vera, this is a myeloid proliferative disorder in which the bone marrow causes an increase in the production of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Whereas in secondary erectocytosis, only the red blood cells are increased. And in secondary erectocytosis, we have sometimes a condition with tissue hypoxia. So that's just a brief difference with this primary erectrocytosis and secondary erectrocytosis. Once again, in secondary erectrocytosis, only the red blood cells are increased. Whereas in primary erectrocytosis, uh, which results as a, uh, as a condition of uh, polycythemia vera, which is a myeloproliferative disease or disorder in which the bone marrow causes an increase in the production of the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Now we have here our OMAX microscope, which has been and will be supporting us in our microbiology study, not only in hematologic uh, blood disorders, but will be also assisting us in other microbiology and pathology research. So uh, next we'll be looking at uh, thrombocytosis, this is all this, uh, thrombocytosis or thrombocytemia, which is an increase in the number of thrombocytes. We'll be looking at leukocytosis, which is an increase in the number of the white blood cells. Thrombocytopenia, which is a decrease in the number of thrombocytes and leukopenia, which is a decrease in the number of the white blood cells. We also have pancytopenia, which is a decrease in the number of red blood cells, white blood cells or platelets, and bicytopenia, which is a decrease in any two blood components, whether it's the red blood cells, 
the white blood cells or the red blood cells and platelets or the white blood cells and platelets. So we have a couple of differentiated hematologic blood disorders to uh, expound uh, on and we will be doing them in singularity, uh, taking them one at a time. So until next time when we look at one of either of thrombocytosis or leukocytosis or thrombocytopenia, uh, uh, we will uh, take this brief pause.